guys ready to get going? Sleeping. Because I could do this session all day, and I brought enough materials to do all day, so it will be fast and quick, and we'll go. So it was kind of advertised as VR, but then it talked about AR, so maybe I'll pull in a little bit of both. But the handout is up on the screen, so you might want to snag a picture of that really quickly. Um, and I'll tell you what they are, and then we're going to demonstrate uh, a lot of the different apps. And after I demonstrate, I'll pass it out for you, and you guys can uh, play with it, experiment with it. And then hopefully we'll have time for you to look at all the other ones that we won't get to. Because if you went to your app store um, for your phone or your iPad, and you said, I want to look for augmented reality, you could be there all day adding um, apps to your phone that are augmented reality or virtual reality. So that handout is going to have all of the resources that you'll need, and I'll put it back up at the end um, as well. Everybody has a business card. It's not just for self-promotion, but we're actually going to use it for AR. Do you want to get out of the way? So if you will take, take that picture, and let me show you what's on that handout so that you will know. Uh, what is there? And everybody gets a prize for coming to this session. So you get to the right one. Oh, we got yeah. the prize. Woo! <laughs> the prizes are good. So at the top is all my contact information you've seen all day. Okay? And then there's just tons of links um, to all the different resources. I didn't want to pare down anything I gave to you because I knew we were already pared down a lot with a short amount of time. So augmented reality books. Next to that is a link that will take you to a handout that talks about all of the books. So you don't really have to worry about writing them down as we go through the day. They're all on that handout. Right? Some of the other things um, that are not books, but they're augmented reality, will be on that second link, augmented reality apps. So all of the things I'm going to show you are on one of those pages, so you don't have to worry about where is the stuff. As long as you get this paper, then you'll be good. And if you log into your Google Drive, you can do a file, make a copy, and then you'll have a copy of this in your drive. So let me put that link back up so I can pictures. We're good? All right. Then other things that are there, um, a lot of times when I do this session, I don't do it where I'm demoing to you. I do it as in station. So I may have uh, like this set up in one place uh, with the app and with instructions and what you need to do. So I'll kind of pass some of that out for you, um, but it just seems today it might be easier for me to just kind of demo it. But so if you decide to do it as stations, it's there. I've also done scavenger hunt with kids where I've had these things set around the room and then they did a scavenger hunt to earn points. So I've given that to you as well. And then the last two are links of uh, places where you can go and see all of the apps or all of the books in one place. You can click on the link and be taken right to um, the store for your device and download all the apps. So you need three things for augmented reality to work. Actually, yeah, four, but really three. You need um, a mobile device. So whether it's an iPad, iPhone, Android phone, whatever type of mobile device with a camera. And then you need an app specific to what you're viewing. And then you need something to shine that app at. So this is one of my favorite books, uh, augmented reality books. I would need the app that goes along with this book on my device. And then I would need the book to shine the app at. Okay, so I'll show you. Uh, I'll just start with this one. So now that we're done with that, I'm going to switch over to my device. Alright, so augmented reality book. So I'm going to need what's that? Oh, connect. Yes, it will here in a second. I need my phone or my tablet. I need my book and I need my app. This is the only app I'm going to show you that costs money, and this one is 99 cents. So it's the only one, and it's listed in the Netflix edition. So you may be doing stations after all. 
but I'm going to show you one called Blip Bar. So, John, if you will give everybody, this is your treat for coming, a uh, Brain Space magazine. So, this is an interactive augmented reality magazine that is put out, I think, four times a year. But it uses the app called Blip Bar. And when you'll notice, if you're looking on the screen, it's already finding some things. And for some reason, it saw a table, it thought, okay, beauty salon, y'all must be a beautiful group, right? Because it said beauty salon. But this is a visual browser. So as it sees things in the background, countertop tables, it will put those at the bottom, and I could tap on them and get more information. But what's beautiful about the brain space magazine, and do I have enough? is when I scan the Brain Space magazine with the Blip Bar app, the magazine itself will come to life. So oh, look at the little stuff swimming around. Okay. So this is a different uh, one than you have. But as you go through the magazine, it will tell you when you can scan stuff. It'll have a little orange image where you can scan stuff and it comes to life. So some of them will be videos, um, some of them will be animation, some of them will take you to more text, but as you scan it, it will come to life. So that is your free copy to take with you. And the Blip Bar app is used by a lot of companies. So you might go to a restaurant, when you do, take a look at the ketchup bottle that's on the table and turn it around on the back. One of the ketchup bottles, I think at times, has where you can use your Blip Bar app to play a game by scanning the back of the ketchup bottle while you're waiting on your food. So a lot of businesses are using augmented reality to publish. But Blip Bar has a totally free side for education. And so if you will use the Blip Bar app, if you put it on your phone or as my devices go around, and you scan my business card,
it's an anomaly f. So, and um, let's see, start down to the parts Johnson and give you, those are actually interactive as well, and they talk about the rule. Okay? So you can put the, and it'll tell you what app you need at the bottom of the card. So you can scan the card and show that since you don't have a book. But they have a ton of books, uh, graphic novels, and even, if not a graphic novel, but novel novels. Well, that was graphic novels. Yeah. 
Yes. Yeah. I don't know. I have to hear a little bit. Okay, you may play. Carry on playing. <laughs> Carry on playing. <laughs> now, I can leave these out through lunch if you want. Come on. Now I need to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. All right, so as you're noticing, each thing I do, I have to have a different. Thank you. 
years were those again? 13, 14, and 15. So the green book, the red and book, the blue book. I am seriously No, I didn't tell them I bought them up. They're like, do you like the colors? Yes, I do. 
you know, see it floating at the bottom? Then my artwork comes to life. So I don't know if you did Dot Day with uh, Peter Reynolds, okay? But now um, your artwork comes to life and you can interact with it by tapping the buttons at the bottom and making it do different things. So the kids' artworks themselves can come to life. Now, those of you who are in secondary, it's not just a coloring page, it is, but I've had teachers print these on the back of like essay papers and they write an essay
Yeah, see, we didn't ask. I didn't ask him I got any other stuff. I said I had a team of four. Thank you. 